Mm, true. Anyway, we've already done our five minutes go breaking or go bot or go pee. So I'm going to do roll call. Big B. Hello. Dark. Wait, what time is it? Seven o'clock. Tinder. We're actually starting on time for once. I know, sideline. Hey! Welcome back to the Abomination Vault. So you haven't even gone in there yet, so I guess it's more like welcome back to not in the Abomination Vaults. Welcome back to being in town. Welcome back to not wherever the campaign takes place, technically. Last time we introduced our players who went down to the docks to meet their mutual friend slash employer uh, name who's always a uh, Rin Sivin I can't say her fucking surname Rin Sivinixi who pointed out that most of the party could see something odd going on in the nearby swamp the fog fen a strange pale blue light emanating from the ruins nearby town known as Gauntlight Keep the light, the light filling them with a strange, disgusting feeling. She essentially asked for the group's aid in discovering what the fuck is going on there. And we left off with the group basically playing some party games. Which, I don't know if you want, there's not necessarily much to finish up with the what you did in, in the text chat for over the week. So... Essentially, well, unless you want to say anything else to Tamlay or whatnot, or ask any more questions about the thing she suggested, which is she has an old property that she's not using that could potentially be a forward base for you lot. She used to use it as a fishing camp out in the swamp, and it... I mean, it's nice coming back to town, there's more facilities here, but if we don't want to trudge several hours back and forth every day, we could use that as a staging base. That but, seems lovely. But it's filled with giant spiders. Oh. Spider smiters. As you can get a long, lovely tirade from Tamley about the ver vertebral fucking horde of different gigantic beasts that basically all fest Cortos. Giant spiders, giant centipedes, giant frogs, giant flies, giant fleas. Basically, if it's some kind of... It, yeah, if it's some kind of vermin or insect, make it giant and they're here somewhere. She isn't quite sure whether or not cent or centaurs count as giant horses yet, but she's willing to count those as well. I don't think so. Most of the time, they're slightly smaller than horses, actually. Yeah, can't confirm. Whack. But regardless, with it, we will say that the night has wrapped up for the most part, unless does anyone have anything we want to do before we go to bed, I suppose? Sneak off, drink wine. No. I think I'm good. Yeah, for, for once I don't think I'm going to be sneaking out anywhere. Yeah, and Caden, make sure you get a good night's sleep. I know you like staying up late occasionally, but mm. we need a good night's sleep before we go out adventuring tomorrow. Yep, it's important to be well rested. I think he's already asleep. That's great. Nook! I'll go dump uh, him off into his house I, or, I, or something. I've got him. Alright, alright. Alright. Uh, Fittingly, uh, Tinder's in is on the way to, or is past, or I have, Hayden's I... in is on the way to Tinder's in. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Sigh, and... down, blah, 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 blah. As we can fast forward to the next again day, it is surprisingly for once sort of sunny. There's still a slight fog in the air, but the sun has managed to push it back for the most part. And the town, when you wake up, depending on how early you wake up, of course, is fairly bustling. People are, you know, as a good sign for spring when the sun manages to break through the mist. You know, I hate it, but I'm a, I'm a morning person. Yeah, and I, I had the feeling. <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> you sure you're not the sort of dad who wakes up at, like, noon and immediately sticks the barbecue on. <laughs> no, I'm the kind of dad who wakes up at 7 and immediately sticks the barbecue on. Oh, God, that's and totally then starts mowing the lawn. Yes. Oh, no! But no, it, it works out fine because Melia doesn't sleep. What the fuck? Melia yeah, and it worked. Uh, she, she sleeps sporadically. Ah. She ascribed to the three three-hour naps. Oh, she's a psychopath. Method. Yeah. 
I mean, I, I was talking about this with someone else the other day. That actually, it it works. It's a perfectly good system. You will adapt. You will feel okay with it until you miss one. If you miss one of those naps, you will be so fucked. <laughs> Uh -huh. Absolutely fucking annihilated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, driver just... not do it. Uh, before the group can be up, however... Well, there was a scene for rules, but I'll hold that off. Dark! Oh no. Is Caden also a morning person? How early would he be getting up? Well... Yeah, he'd be up fairly early, I would say. If nothing else, because I'd imagine he would have kind of been in the routine of being forced up early for, like, work. That's fair. Also, he's gonna, he also still is relatively excited. Nice. But it'll be yeah. up early for work and training and, oh my god, there's everything to do. And, oh no, there's a map. Just call a map, get resolution. Come on, I know you can do it. It, it did it for me. It, it took oh, a minute, it but it did get there. It takes a hot minute. Working. I mean, this map a little bit too big. Hey, surprise, hey, surprise! Hey, J-Mac hey, made a map too up. big! <laughs> there it is. I'm still out there. I'll split, I'll split it in half at some point. I mean, the, the room's only 80 feet across. It, it's not as bad as it, it normally is. Actually, this yeah, is room. It, it, it is designed to be a big room, so... And yeah, fundamentally, this, uh, the scale actually is not the worst, I think. Yeah, no, yeah, no this no, feels no, fine. It's fine, but he just has large tracts of land surrounding it for fucking reasons. Well, yeah. That has yeah. to be set into the scene. <laughs> but how else are you going to throw people off the bridge into the river if you don't know it's on a bridge over a river? Exactly. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Also, it looked kind of weird if it's just water. It just looked like it's... Hmm? No, go ahead, I'm selecting spells to prepare. Uh, I you're Can't come back to him in about three hours, he might be finished. Uh, lunch, I mean, breakfast was okay. Not anything to write home about. It, it, it's breakfast. It's breakfast. But, I, oh, this is your old token, hold on. But Caden, <laughs> before you can race off to your uh, assigned meeting point, uh, the owner of the Crook's Nook, I need to say this right, Yinyaz Mera, uh, stops you. Caden, can I talk to you for a minute? Caden, uh, just with a clueless uh, grin on his face, just wanders up to the bar. Good, good. I hope I'm not interrupting you too much. Um, Ren, she has you on a little errand, no? Mm-hmm. Good, good. Now, if my gossip is correct, she's having you go up in the fog pen? Yep. Hmm, okay. I would like to ask you to do me a little favor, if you could. I mean, I can try. What's the matter? Nothing, nothing too arduous. Um, you're aware of my little rascals. She heavily implies air quotes. Mm hmm. Well, they themselves like to do a little bit of rune delving in their spare time when town's a bit quiet and with spring only just arriving and the travelers only just pouring in. They've been out for. I'd say about two weeks, which isn't necessarily incredibly long, but it's a bit longer than I would like. While you're out there, could you just perhaps keep an eye out? If you've seen any sign of them, you know, and they're fine, tell them it's about time to come back, and if they're in a little bit of trouble, perhaps lend them a hand. Caden gives a strong nod. Can do. Good, good. And if you help them out if you are in a little bit of trouble, I'm sure I can for a little bit of money towards your adventuring fund. I know you've been working hard. There's a slight look of excitement on his face as he kind of just going like, sweet. <laughs> no, I won't keep you. Then I need to get going. See ya. Bye, Caden. Have a good day. As sprint. <laughs> that boy. He's going to make a nice gravestone. Wow. <laughs> You're not in the scene. Yes. Ominous voice from the sky. You'll make a knife tombstone. <laughs> Shut up, God of the Earth. Cut. No turning people into tombstones. Other than that, the party is free to meet up at outside of Rin's shop, as I believe the plan was. And I believe so. Middle Muse's house. Bitch. 
I'm not gonna bother moving your map for us, but I'm going to move you back to your target map. It's a straight one. Yes. Uh, as you meet up, Rin isn't going to come outside, but she will essentially let you know that uh, unfortunately Lumi is not going to be joining you. She seems to have had something of a prophetic call. That's weird. But she will sure. be joining you soon enough. Mm, it it's unfortunate, but. It happens sometimes. I'm sure it's important for her. All right. Ah, it's druid stuff. It's only so important. Important to her. That's what matters. Yeah, that's what that's what matters. But you know. But the store is your oyster. What does the party do? After all, you can just go straight to Golden Light Keep, poke about a bit. You've uh, been told by Tamily that there is potentially a fishing lodge up free for use. You just have to clear it out. You could of course just go wander in the forest for a while. If we were heading up to the keep, how close would that take us to the um, camp? The camp's along the coast, but it basically goes like... Basically there's the swamp, which eventually progresses to estuary, and the fishery is basically there. So if you were to, like you were planning before with your little boat trip, if you were to ever like use the uh, boat in the swamp to get out of the swamp, you basically end up near the, co uh, near the coast and basically next to the fishery, or the fishing camp. Hmm. Uh, the fishing camp, for time's sake, is about four hours to the west. west. Well, Golden Lake Keep is an hour to, well, you can see it to the north. Let's, take, let's, swing, let's swing by the Golden Lake. Yeah, man. It's got the more interesting stuff, anyway, from what I hear. Yeah. Besides, uh, we don't want to lose track of like our own tracks that we kind of left coming on the way back. The walk of shame, I guess. <laughs> that's not what that is. Is it not? No. Well, that sounds like a good idea. Head to the keep, see what we can immediately find out. Um, see if we need to bring any extra resources over that way, and if we bring the river down, we could go to the fishing camp on the way and see what that is like. Sure. Works for me. Yeah. Alright, Nook. Come on, bite. Get up! He sort of grumbles and gets up. Uproots himself from where he is. Rock, 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 rock noises. Yeah. No. While the Gauntlet Keep is relatively close to Otari, you do have a stretch of forest and a small stretch of swamp to make your way through. Yay. I would ask, as we... yes, yay. And as I'm sure some of you remember from the last time we played uh, 2E, there is the exploration system. Woo! Woo! But essentially, I'm going to ask, uh, while you're traveling along, what is it, what is each of you doing? If you need a... Oh yeah, I need a... I, I, I will. I, I shall yeah. need that. You can also just say, I'm keeping an eye out or whatever, and I'll just fit it to whatever the nearest thing is. But if you want to specifically know what shit does, it's in there. Yeah, we're just keeping an eye out's a, a good safe bet. But if there's something more more accurate for what I'd be doing. Yeah. Schnint. Well, you'll lot do that. I'm going to set you up on the gauntlet map. Assuming you get there. Uh, is that now quite turned on? Oh, I did not do this. We could get lost very quickly. Oh, we probably lost. will. I mean, actually, mm, debatably, it kind of helps that you have a big tower to, like, as a, you know. Yeah, we'll we'll probably have to, we'll get lost a couple of times, end up like, oh, there's a massive bog there we can't cross, we'll have to double back. But, you know, we, we it'll be hard to lose track of where our destination is, because it's a massive tower. Yeah. Uh, essentially, I'll be trying to lead the way. I'm not good at it, but I'll be trying. Uh, what would it be for finding your way, or like not uh, getting survival. lost? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll leave that to you. Is that uh, specifically Kate... called something, or uh, is it, track? Like scout. Uh, track. Okay. Since since Kate since Kate was asked to keep an eye out, he will do exactly that and scout. Multiple people scouting doesn't stack the initiative bonus, does it? No, uh, no, I didn't. I didn't think it did. Uh, I'll be doing, and I will also ask JMac. Can I use survival with intelligence? As I'll just be following the way I just sauntered back from there, and just trying to remember which way I went. I'll say, I won't necessarily say yes or that, but I'll say yes because there's a pretty obvious road leading up to 
Okay. Blood Knight, which is basically... Oh, there we go! Can you follow our road? Yes, no. And I will detect magic as we go. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing really in particular that is jumping out at me, so I'll just sort of, you know, stay alert and try to make it so we don't get eaten along the way. Let's see, what does that sound like? It's not a scout. Man, they added a lot more in uh, since I last looked. You could argue and investigate. Um, seek out information about your surroundings while travelling at half speed, but I, I will say now I don't have a knowledge skill for this terrain. Do hmm. you have a shield, or are you a two-weapon No, two-weapon. Uh, I would do search, maybe? Search is more feels more like, oh, I guess it's for concealed hazards. Yeah, that that works. Yeah, then search. Let's see. That look about right. Search, scout, to take magic and track. Yep. Yep. Okay then. Thankfully, Mister Mister Middle Muse has been down this particular area and particular road maybe more than once. Perhaps you've even tried to come back and be like, "Oh, is any of my stuff still there?" Only to unfortunately find it, well, washed away, perhaps. Well, we, we know this at least the third time, because he went there, he came back, and now he's going to get his stuff. Oh, please. I've been there many times. I mean, Melia doesn't need to occasionally uh, get some help lugging things out of the dungeon. <laughs> yeah, I can't really carry much stuff, and I can't weigh Corgo down too much, even though he is a he's fairly good at it. He's oh, he's, at very, he's a strong boy. We feed him well. He is. Oh, I just reach down and give him a woodgy on the head. Yeah, he's... Those steppy legs are actually very, very c compact, so they carry things very well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if only they make corgis bigger than this so that you, you guys could actually get something to ride on. I would say they are very loyal and better than horses, I would say. It's fine. Yeah, I would agree so. Marching along helps keep me fitter. I will need a rather long bath when we get back, but at least I'm not getting fat and lazy. Oh, that's just the swamp anyway. Yeah. The stuff sticks to you like nothing, like nobody's business. Yes, I, I know. I, I just don't particularly enjoy it when it does that. Yeah. But! Sometimes weird reagents stick to you, like, uh. Like this little thing. See? Used to bro up a nice little ungin that will help keep your teeth clean. Did you just say I ungin? see. Yeah. Wait, like... An ungin, yes. Okay, I thought you said onion. <laughs> no. <laughs> no! I mean, it might be an onion that we that we picked up, but no. No, an ungin. An onion? Fair enough. While you travel, you don't... You thankfully don't come across any trouble. However, Tinder... Yo. Although you don't see anything, your nose is picking up some very interesting scents. And by interesting, I mean probably a little bit more mundane to the swamp. However, as you get closer to the Gauntlet Keep, the smell of rotten decay becomes pretty much the more prevalent stench in the air. It's maybe not necessarily anything above what you'd expect at a swamp, but it's definitely like in the forefront of your mind of this place is not a good place, this place is not a sanctified place. Yeah, he's, 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 he's in fact stinky. As as we're getting closer, he's pulling more and more of a face, and he's sort of rubbing it his nose occasionally. Just ugh, whatever's going on here makes the swamp stink more than normal. Ah, swamp gas. Possibly, it, it's it's kind of mm, dead and rotting and not nice. Off and off. Stuff's rank as hell, honestly. Well, it is to be for build up and other gases from decomposing bodies and plants and things like that. Is this Will Wisp yeah. country? Yeah, wisps tend to make lead to more bodies in them. They're annoying, but hey, they make good reagents as well. Find the heart of a Will Wisp, and it will make it makes very good use for enhancing light spell or darkness spells. Depends on your feel for the day, from what I've heard at least. Uh, kind of. As you arrive, without fanfare, to the Gauntlet Ruins. You can definitely see why they call this the Ruins. The, basically, the upper floor, where and where all the roofs are, are largely collapsed. 
it's I think can you stop moving for a second just so I can describe things because uh sure. sorry the upper floors are largely collapsed and amongst the sounds of the mosquitoes and frogs you can hear the distant noises of something inside the keep you're a bit too far away for now to hear exactly what but this place is definitely occupied and crowning this entire thing the only thing that's actually kind of kept partially intact towards the back of the keep is the lighthouse around 100 feet up crowned in iron and with a strange strange feeling you can still feel every time you look up at it okay now if you wish to look about you can uh, I'm not a uh, ruins delver much myself. How did you normally get in? Because usually either the, the door might be open uh, or there'll be a gap in the wall. Yeah, I always Actually, push on the door a little yeah. bit to check first. Just yeah. like she just started mage hands and started tries to push the door a bit. And I push the door with my actual hand because I can do more than five pounds. As you... Hey, it's, it's up to a light bulb. <laughs> As you both concertedly push the door, uh, bad news. Decades of filth and mold have made these doors pretty much nothing but ornaments as they fall down with a clatter. But you can... Yep, there you go. Now. That's one way to get in. Mm -hmm. I'll just... It's loud, but don't... it's man, be fine. Don't go too far ahead. Um, obviously, we can hear something, and they may well have heard that door clattering. Yep, I'm gonna stick behind the big, uh, big strong cat. Yes, he is because he he wasn't wearing his armor last time, but he is dressed in his um chain mail now. Excellent. There's right. another door. Uh, if you don't mind door. as well, I'm going to, and she is going to as she's walking, just ping off the tech magic every round. <laughs> well. I'll stop you there, then. Amelia. There's magic? There is indeed magic. But more importantly, you hear snickers. <laughs> As your detect magic goes, you're detecting faint signatures of magic from up. Okay, something's up. Also, laughter. Hmm. Hmm. Um, uh, wait, so... Sideline, um, did you tell the rest of us about your whole talking to bugs thing, or did you just telepathically do that with Melia? Mostly to Melia. Right. Oh, I, I did, no, wait, no, I did say that out loud. Hmm. Well, if there are, are any about, um, and they feel particularly talkative, um, Mr. Meadow Muse, the local bugs may be able to, to tell us what's ca come in here recently, what may be sniggering upstairs. I don't know what sort of information they could provide. I don't generally speak to them, but it's a source of information. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. Uh, not much, uh, but I'll give it a girl. Or, in fact, if you wish to speak to some bugs, some bugs in here. As you're kind of looking at the floor, you notice there's strange lumps that smell pretty disgusting, and the insects appear to be particularly attracted to it. Specifically, more there's a fair few flies in this room. When you say particularly disgusting, is that like a rotten meat kind of disgusting, or it's more else? like if you like touch it, it's just very sludgy. Yeah, I am not touching that. <sighs> okay, Mister Mary hops out down. You'll cast Pestigitation, blowing all the flies away from it, and putting a big barrier around the big sludge sludge thing, and go. All right, everybody, pay attention, pay attention. All right, um, I'll give it back if you can tell me about anything that's coming on through the other side of this door. As, give me, mm, this feels almost like an intimid, no, this is more of a caution. Give me a diplomacy check, please. And were flies one of those things that start off helpful with you, or is it elf or something else? Uh, that's, mm. No, they're indifferent. Uh, butterflies, okay. bees, and uh, oh, similar true. things talk to me well. I see. You get a, concert a concerto, concerto of voices, tiny, tiny, tiny voices, very indignant that you've stolen their food. But you get back a chorus of nothing, 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 nothing goes through that door, nothing. Nothing? Then what am I hearing laughing? Stinky, smelly, food. No, no, no. 
What am I hearing laughing? Food. Stinky. Loud. Small. Oh. Okay. As, as you finish your with your kind of little conversation, uh, what's your AC? Uh, my AC is a solid 15. Okay, give me a second. No, that, that's not too bad. Mine's only 18. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not necessary. Uh, yeah. Given the tight bandings. Thankfully, it's not something that hurts you, Mr. Meadow Muse, but more, you're impacted by the same sludge that you just removed all the flies from. And now that it hits you, oh yeah, that's definitely crap. <sighs> oh. Little blue dude. <laughs> Above you, while there's plenty of cobwebs and darkness obscuring the area, there are wooden beams, and peeking over the edge is a strange blue-faced creature. His hands full of, uh, yeah. Ah, He's stinky. <laughs> oh, I should note, do any of you here speak under common? Yep. Nope. Yep, I do. Then it's only Melia who understands this. Nah, that wasn't very nice. As I say, as I'm going to start prostitutating myself clean. Mm. Nook! Mm. Uh, Nook's going to make a grapple attempt at him. Uh, uh, how high are the ceilings? Nook has a 10 foot reach. Oh yeah, he's plant. Yes, you can definitely <laughs> reach this thing then. Give me a go, but I'm going to tell you now after that initiative starts. As you get your surprise attack off. As this thing was not expecting a... Uh, I Nook. suppose, what does Nook's... Extendo arms! <laughs> Fair enough. I do not believe these things. Wait, is it athletics versus athletics? It's athletic versus fortitude DC, I believe. Oh, no, I think okay. it's against their either athletics or acrobatics DC. Okay. Uh, well, that definitely grabs. Let's give him a fist. As it lets out a indignant whelp, uh, or indignant yelp, as Nook whoop! and gets a pretty good grab on him. As Nook grabs him, suddenly there's a chorus of tiny voices going, Let him go, let him go! Assholes, assholes, get over her home! Yeah, I don't know this language. Melia? Yeah, there's more of them. We gathered uh, that much. He's calling you an yeah. asshole as well. So, yep. Initiative starts. Ugh. And it's perception rules. Hooray! I perceive you have good speed. wisdom, right? I don't suppose I can use mm -hmm. my diplomacy mm -hmm. for initiative based on talking to bugs, but no. No. This isn't a social combat, unfortunately. At least we avoided the surprise attack. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, some of you did. Sure. Dang it, they're all right above me. Boo. They're indeed all right above you. Mm -hmm. Is that everyone? Oh, do you and Nook act on the same initiative? Yeah, we do. Oh, they, right. in fact, share actions. Yeah, uh, I, yeah. <laughs> now, Mr. Meadow Muse, Mrs. Meadow Muse, as your existence is sprites, I'm going to give you this for free. You recognize these creatures as gremlins, more specifically mitflits. Uh, and that's basically all I'm going to give you for now. If you wish to know more, you'll have to roll a... Or do I recall knowledge? But you know they are fey, so expect fey things. Ugh, great. Uh, unseely fey. No wonder they're speaking under common at us. Uh, the one far to the right. Pretty, you know, angry that suddenly, oh, my friends grabbed after we were just playing a delightful prank on you. Uh, let's see. <laughs> he goes for something a little bit more lethal than a handful of shit as he pulls out a tiny tiny little dart and will throw it at Nook with his first action. Mm. Ah, that doesn't hurt Nook. Damn. It sort of clangs off a bit of his stone body. Hmm, I see, I see. What else can you do? Seeing, well first of all, enraged that it didn't work, he moves over here and with his last action he's going to cast the Bane. Which is a five foot animation, an eminent, eminent, emanation. Emanation. Uh, let's give it a nice purple. Purple feels evil. Everyone within this five feet, you have a minus one to attack rules for as long as you remain in there. Caden. 
Wait, wait. Will we stay in what oh, area? Wait. wait, hold on. I just realized. Mm -hmm. This area. Okay. And does this hit us because of the fact they're so far up? Far up. We're not really that far up. They're like seven-ish feet up. Technically, you could hit them with melee attacks just from where you are. I'd hope so. My sword is like five feet. <laughs> Extend arms definitely caught them off guard, however. Uh, so it, it's uh, one thing to have, like, something just barely reach you, it's another thing for them to reach up and grab you. Okay, so we're starting this, we're starting this. Um, okay, Caden looks a little bit like he wasn't entirely expecting all this to start, but it's fine. You got this, Caden. Remember your training. Protect the little ones. Um, you're going to go ahead then, uh, and looking up at the mite who just cast that, uh, who, who just cast that spell, mm -hmm. he's going to go ahead and uh, aim forth his sword. Um, however, he won't swing it at them. Instead, he will chant. He, he will chant a simple incantation. The lightning time. Yep. Uh, da -da -da -da. One second, just because I don't remember how all this how it works. Is it a save or is it attack roll? It's a save. Okay. He's going to aim the sword. Uh, charge, strike! Which means him and, and the one next to it are both have to make a saving throw. Gotcha, gotcha. Let's see, reflex? Yep. Unfortunately, one of our best saves. Oof. Yeah, that's disappointing. Uh, one critical success, which basically means no damage. Yeah, and the other one takes three damage. It's something. As one of them yelps at being fired from... Perhaps not your full brunt of electricity, but still enough to hurt them, as he glares at you. And should be dancing out of the sword and up into the rafters. Well, the other one critically succeeded, so... Yeah. That's it, only one of them took damage. Oh, right, 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 sorry. Yeah. Nook, acting as an insulator. And, um... Like his music's too... Oh, technically he's flat-footed, so that's two less, so he would take half. Oh, fair enough then. Because he's grappled, so... Oh, that's true. Hmm. I should get my conditions. Back. And then, uh, I suppose, uh, I will try to protect Mr. Melamoos. I will... Because uh, that was two actions. Actually, no, so stepping is an action, isn't it? Yes. Yes. I will... Just in case that brings retaliation, I'm going to raise my shield. Fair enough. Your AC is increased by one. By two. By two. Ooh. Fancy. Uh, Kaden, that perhaps might have turned out to be the correct answer, as seeing that you're now suddenly the much bigger threat, you get a volley of darts your way, first of all. Boop. Oh, damn. Hmm. Not a crit, I assume. That is nowhere near a crit. <laughs> Good. Uh, like actually, horse, it, it could only crit me if it natural 20, so... Fair enough, then. As you take, three points of piercing damage, as a dart hits you between one of the gaps in your armor. Hmm. Takes a five foot step, and this one also leeches out negative vibes. But you have walked into my range, you fool! Man, these mitflets all got like similar initiatives. This one was grabbed. What was it? Was hold on, I need to look up. Da, 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 da. You are restrained. You can step to escape, which is acrobatics. Ah, okay. Hmm. He's gonna. Oh no, and... it's athletics. Athletics, sorry. Oh, okay. Hmm. He's. Yeah, he'll attempt to wiggle his way out. Wait, you can attempt an acrobatics instead of using your attack modifier, which is. Okay, so it's an attack. Okay. Yeah, it is an attack. Right, I see. Uh, athletics is not good, unfortunately. He'll give it one go. Who knows? I'm going no. to assume that does not succeed against your no. athletics. DC. Okay then. Uh, he. Mm. Does he have? No, he doesn't. He'll reach into his side and draw a sword, which I believe is an interact action. Uh, yes. When you're grabbed, you to make a yep. thing mobile bit, don't you? DC 5. Flat check. So, 5 or over. He succeeds, mm -hmm. and he's going to attempt to stab Mr. Nook with his short sword. With a penalty. Yes, it is a second attack, so it's only plus four. Nope. Fair enough. And the last mitflet. Hmm. Lightning boy, big rock thing. Hmm. 
You'll throw one dart at the big rock thing. That hits. Yeah. And is a crit. Oh, so times two? Yep. So four damage. Or do you roll again for that? I think you normally gain another die, don't you? Yeah. Oh, okay. But you, you double everything, so it would be also another minus one, so. Yeah, but. <laughs> so free free damage. Yeah. Uh, he'll throw a dart at Caden. That outright misses as they deflect it over the shield. Is, is, and does he still provoke for doing ranged while he's in melee? You don't have attack of uh, opportunity. Yeah, I I didn't I didn't know if that was separate from, from the attack of opportunity feat or not. Yeah, you need to be attack of opportunity feat yeah. too. Believe it or not, when in the other Pathfinder 2 campaign we did, like, everything was melee-based, we didn't really have to deal with ranged in melee very often. Yeah. yeah if you have attack of opportunity, you can... Yeah. Yeah. I don't believe anyone here does. Do not. No, not yet. I don't think Jamie does. Nope. And then he's going to move. One, two, three, four. Over here. Melia. There are some pests in the rafters, screaming in undercommon, as one goes, I go get boss, I go get boss! Alright, let's... Uh, great, boss. So, she's... Uh, Corgo is going to use his one action, because he's independent right now, so he has one action, and I still have all my actions. I don't need to command him. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm gonna move over here. Mm -hmm. Like, trundle over here. Good job, Corgo. Good, good. And I'm uh, what action is it to, like, identify something? Is it a free action on your turn? Uh, it's no, a it's a action. single action. Okay, that's fine. Still works. In this right. case, if you wish to identify these creatures, it would, if you have a lore for fate, or it would be a nature check. I just have nature. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, Melia, it's been a hot minute since you've been in anything that could be misconstrued as a combat. Yeah, your mind's perhaps a bit racing, thinking, ah, tactics, 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 rather than what the fuck are these? Of course, you know, they are weak to cold iron as Fae, and beyond that, yeah, you're not quite sure what else. Ugh, goddamn gremlins. You know what? Mm. Yeah, let's let's just hit, hit the one that's trying to run away with, uh... You know what? I might as well use Electric Arc as well. I need to remember my abilities. Do da, do da. Yes. <laughs> remember your champion reaction because it's your most powerful thing. Yes, that's what I've literally just remembered. <laughs> <laughs> and there's been a bit surprised at the first combat of the day. Ah, more re reflex saves. And yeah, uh, it's going to be that one about? and that one and the uh and the one near me. Okay. As, uh, as I've just been taser cannon over here. Yes. For, for the one near you first, and from the one far away. Two successes. For three damage? Yeah, each. Yeah. This one's looking as... If it had hair, it would be on end, but unfortunately <laughs> it doesn't, so it's just looking very toasty. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, also say... gonna say, uh... Hmm? Yeah, the one, the, the one that's going that way is calling for a boss, apparently. Might want to get it out of the way first. Wait, which one? This one over here. Right. It's pointing at it as it gets zapped a bit. That uh, one right there! Bang! <laughs> you can see the monster's uh, health bars, yes? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Goody goody. Ender. Uh, well, I really want to just stand here and fucking slaughter that one right next to me. But that one's going to go and get his boss. So. Excuse me. Uh, I forgot your name, Nook. There we go. We're still on the job. Yeah. Uh, no penalties for moving and attacking or anything. It's literally just first attack, second attack now, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't have anything that works on my attack, so it's literally just stabby stab. Let us see the stabby stab. The uh, that was meant to be damage as well. There we go. Jesus, I crit. Yeah, the, the crits on the greatsword is fucking nasty. Uh, I'm going to presume he's not... Oh yeah, I can see his health bar. He's just barely alive. What's that? Two health? God damn it. Uh, 
as you flick your greatsword through the rafters and almost you basically get a really good cut in his chest but you still see him crawling grasping for a small hole in the roof that he can escape out of I, I don't suppose that's enough for him to sort of stumble and fall down and take a bit of fall damage unfortunately not <laughs> if you want to do that you obviously need to trip oh. turns out when you're swinging above your head trying to hit into the rafters it's not very easy with a greatsword there's, yeah, this is there's not much fairly... room to swing. Yeah, it's fairly close quarters. Not your not your best uh, place to fight in. Yeah. Mr. Metal Muse. Don't worry, sir. I got it. Um, first, uh, one action, Eidolon boost. Uh, two actions, I'm going to do work together. And the, with the work together, my two actions are going to be used to cast Scatter Scree. Ooh, okay. Which I will target two contiguous squares, which will be this guy who's entangled, mm -hmm. and this guy who's about to leave. Mm -hmm. That is another reflex save. Ooh, makes damage. Uh, this one is for the grabbed one. This one is for the one the fleeing. Oh, well, I can safely see he is dead. Throw damage. And basically, all the stones and all the moss and lichen that I've collected on here suddenly to grow thorns and just impale the guy. Yeah, it turns out it goes straight for the one that was trying to run away his head. Well, correct success means no damage, right? Correct success means nothing, yes. Yeah, I, I guess Nook's arms just kind of shielded the one that's grabbed. And he yeah, um, which makes yeah, sense, okay. as now Nook is now going to pile drive this man so fucking hard. <laughs> I mean, we'll see. I was going to suggest keeping him alive and interrogating him, but I forgot to say that during my turn, so oh well, go ahead, kill him. Bring in down the house. Aww. Well, yeah, he's flat footed. He's flat footed, so minus two. He's flat footed. Unfortunately, that's not enough. As this little mitflit is just riffing, is wriggling, and doesn't want to go with Nuke. Does not want to go into Naughty Man's van. There is no candy here. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> and I'm out of actions. Mitflit over here. Uh, let's see. He will spend an action to increase the aura of his bane. And he'll throw, ooh, scary big sword, scary, scary, scary big sword. Uh, yeah, that's a hit. For one damage. A solid one. If there's, um, okay. Minimum one always. Ooh. He is now going to run. <laughs> uh, he will take a little bit of falling damage, but he's going to wait. Is that acrobatic? acrobatic. Or just... Is that yep. a reflex? I, think it's or, I mean, is that a bleh, not a reflex? I mean, like a what's the fucking thing called? Re reaction. Let me look. Uh, no. Oh, so I guess it just takes full damage. Uh, you have to. You can't just move through enemy squares. You have uh, to be able to tumble through reaction. Over. Oh, okay, that's fine. So you're on the ceiling. Well, yeah. Also, Actually, if he takes full yeah. damage, he'll fall prone. That is also true. Let me look. Sir. Yeah, he'll still take that chance as he'll... Where's the boot? Boop. Let's see, he's falling seven feet. Oh, when you fall more than five feet, you take bludgeoning damage equal to half the distance you fell when you land. Seven feet up, three damage. As he runs terrified for his life. And falls prone. And falls prone. Caden. Well. Um... I suppose we keep this up then. Nook's clearly got that one in hand. Caden um, <laughs> will go ahead and draw an arc with his sword again, uh, doing the same incantation as before. Uh, since it seems to be, since it seems to be working right now. As the mitflit at your feet scrabbles away, snot running at his nose, tears pouring at his eyes as friends are brutally murdered by people. Yeah, charge, <laughs> strike! <laughs> and I am targeting two creatures. Yeah. This one. I just love it. I like him saying that, and you're like, mm, boop! Okay, one to the top, one to the bottom. Oof. Roll that crit damage. Let's see how brutally you murder him. No? Okay. Uh, one to the top takes. Two. Three? Two? Okay. Rounds down. And one to the bottom is crispy. If it took a ten. Unfortunate. Anything else? You have one action. Would have been more convenient if it didn't die instantly, but... Hmm? What was that? 
would have been would have been would have been more convenient for my action economy if it, if it if it, if it wasn't that. But uh, that's a different issue. Um, I'll go ahead and. You can share a spare space with me, by the way. It's true. I was Technically wondering sure. that. Because I'm on a corgi. Corgis are a trip hazard. Can confirm. I will... I think I'll just keep my shield raised, though I wouldn't 